let's study the second type of modulation technique, frequency modulation. In amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the carrier changes and the frequency and the phase remains constant. In frequency modulation, the frequency of the carrier signal varies whereas the amplitude and the phase remains constant. We know that the frequency and the time period are reciprocals of each other. Thus when the time period of a signal is minimum, we get maximum frequency and vice versa. We can see above, as the amplitude or the information content of a modulating signal increases, the frequency of a carrier signal also increases. Its time period decreases, hence the signal gets compressed. And as the amplitude of a modulating signal decreases, the frequency of a carrier signal also decreases. Hence, its time period increases and the carrier signal expands. Now, let's see the concept of frequency deviation. The amount by which the carrier frequency varies from its unmodulated value is called as deviation represented as delta. The deviation is proportional to the instantaneous voltage of the modulating signal. The modulating signal is given as xt equals em cos 2 pi fm into t. The carrier signal is given as ec equals a into cos omega c into t plus phi. The instantaneous frequency of a fm wave is given as fit equals fc plus kf into xt. Substituting the value of xt, we get the equation fit equals fc plus delta into cos 2 pi fm into t where delta is the deviation. Minimum frequency of the modulated wave is given as F minimum equals Fc minus delta and maximum frequency is given as F maximum equals Fc plus delta. The bandwidth of FM wave is calculated as BW equals 2 into number of sidebands. It can also be obtained using Carson's rules as BW equals 2 into maximum deviation plus maximum frequency.